A very good morning and a warm welcome to today's celebration of the Holy Eucharist from Redemptorist Media Center. During this Holy Mass, we pray for the following intentions. We pray for the repose of the souls of Aliama Matthew and Elizabeth, Alice Sushila Pinto, for all the souls in purgatory, Aureen Dunn, Bruno de Costa, Sia Maria Raj and Arun, Gadgetan de Souza, Captain A. Augustine, Celine Breto and Percy Breto, Krista Rita, Retta, Joseph Carl and Elizabeth Carl, Crystal Frutal, Edna de Souza, Eliza de Dissa and John Dissa, Esperanza Cordros and Holy Souls in Purgatory, Felix Lobo and Carmen Lobo, Francis Xavier, Gracie de Silva, Hilary Francis Pereira, Jean Philomena Ito, Jerome Gomez, Javelin Alfonso, Lancelot Denise, Ligary and Hilda de Souza, Lionel Fletcher, Lionel Fletcher, Louis Dissa and Julia Dissa, Messi Isaac, Joyce Isaac, Kenny Isaac, Sheila Isaac and Audrey Michael, Major James Utup, Mr. and Mrs. Utup, Marianus Barnabas, Mary Mendoza, Mr. and Mrs. Philip and N.J. George, Natalina Pereira, Raja S., Raymond K. Raj, Raymond K. Raj Philomena, Regan Joseph, Rosalind Francis, Ros Rosario Philippe Dias, Selvarajanma, Shaji Philip, Simon Selatamal, Susan Judas, J Susan J. Sudas, Teresa, mother of Sister Elizabeth, Victor Mendoza, Vimala J, Vincent Fletcher. On the 40th day remembrance of V. G. Anthony, birthday remembrance of Dr. Cyprian de Costa, Joseph Raj and M. J. Thomas. Death anniversaries of Aloysius de Souza, Benedict Sequera, Severin Almeida, Myrtle Ribeiro and Selvin Dubia. The following are offered as thanksgivings on the birthdays of Raphael Francis Nirmal, Anthony Vincent, Geraldine Grace Ward, Arlene Gonzago, Jaden, Lawrence Vaz, Pam Pereira, pa Pamela Seelan from Chennai, Amelia Upal, and on the birthday of Ravi Kumar. The following are offered as Thanksgiving on the wedding anniversaries of Beryl and Nino Jokim and on the wedding anniversary of Tyron and Debbie Roach. The following are offered as Thanksgiving for favours received to Infant Jesus and Mama Mary on receiving the visa of Rochelle Lazarus, good health of Jerry Lee, good health of the family for being for being with us in difficult times for protection and healing of their family by Bauer family. Malinga George family. <coughs> Moira Coelho for the intentions they have received. Intentions of Janet Unger. Rodriguez and family. Sarita Furtado to Infant Jesus and Mother of Perpetual Health by Sunita Devakar to Our Lady Mary Undoer of Knots for the conversion of sinners in the church for Eben Joy to get a job for God-fearing and God-pleasing life partner for Sujata Dungdung for healing from fear, anxiety, confusion, and good health and well-being of James Sanjay. For Natalia Chennai to grow stronger in faith. For safe delivery and good health of, of child and mother of Marion. Safe delivery of uh, Marceline Messina Fernandez. For speedy recovery of Violet Roslin for the successful hip surgery and speedy recovery of Margaret Rosario, healing of Yannick, 
praying for Ava and Nisha to grow stronger in faith on Daughter's Day. And uh, special intentions of Essie and Beryl Carter and family, Joel, Serene, Das, and for the intentions of Sunil, Dominic, Savio. With these intentions and with our own, let us now prayfully participate in this Holy Eucharist. of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus all of us have plans but we also believe that God has a plan for each of us. When we submit our plans at the feet of the Lord and surrender ourselves to the plan of God, our lives are blessed. Today, we remember a blessed standard singer, a redemptorist blessed, who wanted to preach the good news, wanted to be a missionary, going around all around and preaching the word. But when the superiors asked him to be a formator, to look after the seminarians, he willingly accepted, accepted the God's plan and surrendered himself. And he was so open to the seminarians, and the seminarians loved him. And he contributed so much for the welfare of the formation. Today, all around the world, the Redemptorists remember the great blessed standard singer as a patron for all the formators. Today, in a special way, we pray for all the formators, especially those who are involved in creating a, a new a foundation, creating new seminarians, creating new, um, who are actively involved in formation. Also, we remember all those who are uh, involved in youth ministry, forming new minds, we pray for all those who are involved in building young people. 
it's all happened because Tanda Singer surrendered himself to the plan of God. This morning as we come around the altar of God, let's ask ourselves, it's my plan, but do I surrender my plans to God and allow God to take control of my life? For the times that we have failed, let's ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy bestow we pray your graces abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises haste to the treasures of heaven 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading. Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the Lord's people were prophets? A reading from the book of Numbers. In those days the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him and took some of the spirit that was on him and put it on the seventy elders. And as soon as the spirit rested on them, they prophesied, but they did not continue doing it. Now two men remained in the camp, one named Eldad and the other named Medad, and the spirit rested on them. They were among those registered but they had not gone out to the tent, and so they prophesied in the camp. And a young man ran and told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the assistant of Moses from his youth, said, My Lord Moses stopped them. But Moses said to him, Are you jealous for my sake? Without all the Lord's people were prophets, that the Lord would put his spirit on them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Your response shall be, The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, it revives the soul. The decrees of the Lord are steadfast, they give wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, abiding forever. The judgments of the Lord are true, they are all of them just. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. So in them your servant finds instruction. Great reward is in their keeping. But who can detect their own errors? From hidden faults acquit me. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. From presumption restrain your servant. May it not rule me. Then shall I be blameless, clean from grave sin. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. Second reading, Your Riches Have Rotted, a reading from the letter of St. James. Come now, you rich, weep and howl for the miseries that are coming upon you. Your riches have rotted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have corroded and their corrosion will be evidence against you and will eat your flesh like fire. You have laid up treasure in the last days. Behold the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you kept back by fraud, are crying out against you. And the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on earth in luxury and in self-indulgence. You have fattened your heart in a day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the righteous person. He does not resist you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Sanctify us in the truth. be with
with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. At the time, John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him, because he was not following us. But Jesus said, do not stop him, for no one who does a mighty work in my name will be able soon afterwards to speak evil of me. For the one who is not against us is for us. For truly I say to you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, will be no means lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great milestone were hung around his neck and he was thrown into the sea. And if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled than with two hands to go to hell, to the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame than with two feet to be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to sin, tear it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into hell, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today's first reading is taken from the book of Numbers. The book of Numbers is one of the first five books that we find in the Old Testament. We call that junk or we call that collection, the first five books of the Old Testament as Pentateuch or Torah. Well, today the, the book of Numbers contains the journey of the people of Israel. Their journey from the slavery of Egypt, their journey towards the promised land. I just want to give you uh, the background to the first reading today, then we will get into the reading. The people of Israel were on the journey. God provided them with manna, obviously a vegetarian meal. For some time they went on well. Must be like a good Catholic, they were looking for an alternative, a non-vegetarian meal. So they begin to trouble Moses. They asked Moses, give us some non-vegetarian meal, some alternative. Because they thought, they recalled their sumptuous meals at times they had when they were slaves. They wanted the same. They forgot the God who called them to the promised land. Well, they began to trouble Moses for various other things and Moses was finally fed up and he wanted to give up the leadership. So he went up to God and, asked, and said to God, God, I'm done. And I want to give up my leadership. And Lord agreed. He said, that's where we find today's reading, the first reading. He said, I will take out the spirit from you, the leadership spirit from you, and will share it to 70 other elders of the people of Israel. Thanks be to God, Moses calls them on a day, list out 70 elders, from the people of Israel, and they all gathered in a camp. Everything is set, 
They were praying. The spirit of the Lord comes upon all the 70 elders there. And they began to prophesy. So far so good. The twist in the story comes here. Among the 70 that were listed, two were missing at the time of the infilling of the spirit. Their names were Eldad and Medad. So they arrived after those who received the spirit. So they arrived into the camp, but they were not there for that infilling spirit. But as soon as they entered the camp, they were filled with the spirit. And they also began to prophesy. Dear people, note here. They were not in the camp. They came and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And they began to prophesy. Now those who were part of the ceremony, who were infilled by the Spirit, they were disturbed. So they went to Moses and complained. And you must see the reply of Moses, very nice. Moses replies, Joshua goes to Moses and complains about these two. Because they were not part of the, you know, people who are in the camp who are got filled with the Holy Spirit. My Lord Moses stopped him. But Moses said to him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the Lord's people were prophets? That the Lord would put his spirit on them. Are you jealous? Today I would like to reflect with you the problem of jealousy in the church. I'm sure most of you who know our church very well would agree with me. The enemy of the church is not so much found outside the church, but they are very well found inside the church most of the time. The believers, the baptized who support, supposed to build the church, gradually turn to become the destroyers of the church. They become, they join their hands with the enemies of the church within and so jealousy, hatred, ill feeling among the believers, among the baptized, bring divisions, bring ill feeling with one another. They break the body of Christ. Why do they do that? Strangely, it's all a matter of jealousy. The people, the Christians who are supposed to build the church, gradually break the church because they want the church to go the, the, the way that they want. And as a result, they forget the mission of Christ that was entrusted to them. If you analyze the situation, you will find underneath there is a feeling of jealousy. Let's look into the gospel today. We find a similar experience there too. In the gospel we find they were disciples who were deriving out demons and they were not part of the disciples of Jesus. Now John was very upset. He says how could someone who's not part of our group, part of the disciples of Jesus can derive out demons? So he went up to Jesus and makes a complaint, launches a complaint. Listen to me. Teacher, we saw, John say, saying to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. He was not part of us. Jesus said, Do not stop him. For no one does a mighty work in my name will be soon afterwards to speak of evil of me. This is the key line. 
for the one who is not against us for the one who is not against us is for us how generous jesus was today the church is suffering due to the problem of jealousy among the christians we find that sometimes in the parish setup among the laity a beautiful choir talented singers instrumentalists are there everything going on well for some time suddenly the, the feeling of jealousy creeps into the one of the singers am i singing better than him or he is singing he is getting the credits so the jealousy creeps to that and the problem starts i want to put him down they have forgotten forgotten the mission of christ what they are serving another scenario you will find there are there are very constructive projects in the parish setup or in the diocese and level it's been put to halt stopped because the parish council's members couldn't come into an agreement you find underneath they are one against the other they want to ask themselves who will get the credit if this project comes to an end if somebody completes it who will get the glory then it they forget the mission of Christ dear people you would agree with me how many fights how many divisions that has caused our own church because of this problem of jealousy people are divided the churches have been closed people go not visit their own parishes because of the ill feeling against one another the underneath you find there is a problem of jealousy if someone is doing well in something they want to bring him down problem of jealousy well is it only among the laity oh, 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 oh. i tell you dear people the problem of jealousy is also very common among the bishops priests and religious a young dynamic creative parish priest arrives he builds up the parish in his own way very creative way dynamic way and what happens the clergy around him makes fun of him for his creative things passes some subtle comments so that you know he keeps his pace very low some go to the other end fabricate stories about him makes complaints to the higher authorities make sure the mission is stopped and he is transferred from one place to the other why clerical jealousy that's it i don't want him to be there i will decide who should be in and who should be out where is the mission of christ what about some parishes where we find a new parish priest arrive and he doesn't want to continue any of the works that's been started by the pre- previous parish priests he said the credit will go to that man i will start all together anew please tell me how much of the church resources energy being misused goes to the gutters because of this problem of jealousy it can go on among the bishops among the religious community where do we stop we come to an a stop only when we look at Jesus and Moses when the complaint came to them saying that someone is doing someone is heated up with jealousy their reply was generous Jesus replied for the one who is not against us is for us and Moses also did the same dear people as we come around the altar of God today to celebrate this eucharist the message is crystal clear 
we as the members of the church, laity and religious priests, everyone who's been part of the members of our church, how do we handle the problem of jealousy? It's I, it's me, it's my project, or are we aware that we are all together, all together building the mission of Christ? What matters? It's not we. What matters? It's not our talents. What matters is the mission of Christ. He has interested to all of us. I serve, you serve. We all contribute to build the body of Christ. I think that's what Moses did and also Jesus did. Today call for us to build our church, the kingdom of God, because that is the mission that you and me are called to. In this Eucharist, we'll pray for this grace in a very special way. Not to feel jealousy of someone else, but always remember that I am a builder of the church and the kingdom that Jesus entrusted to all of us. Amen. Let's all profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, God. in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God hears the cries of his people, not because we are his favorites or that we deserve his attention, but simply because the heart of God is big enough to include everyone. Realizing that we are children of this universally loving God, let us bring before him our prayers and petitions. Your response, hear us, Lord, for we are your children. Hear us, Lord, for we are your children. For our Pope, bishops, and priests, that they may journey with the Church in hope to make this world a better place. Your response? Hear us, Hear Lord, us, Lord, for, for we, we are, are your, your children. children. Christians over the world, that we may realize that God is bigger than our imagination and expectations and reach out to people, irrespective of their faith, beliefs, culture and philosophies in life your response hear, hear us lord, lord for we are, are your, your children. children we pray for those whose lives are uncertain due to various kinds of problems they face both spiritual and material that god may be merciful to them and reach out through kind-hearted people your response hear, hear us lord, lord for, for we are, are your, your children. children for the sick and suffering in our families and community that they may have experienced healing and strength in these testing times. Your response? Hear, Hear us, Lord, Lord, for we are your children. children. For the souls of those loved ones we lost this year due to pandemic and due to various other reasons, may enjoy a place in the kingdom of heaven. Your response? Hear, Hear us, Lord, Lord, for we, we are, are your, your children. children. 
let's pause a while and pray for the intentions. Heavenly Father, we bring before you those intentions which disturb us the most. Fulfill them according to your divine will. Bless us always with the peace and joy that we hope for in this life and in the life to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that through this our offering may find acceptance with you, that through it the wellspring of blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you knew we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of eternal life. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed a holy, O Lord, uh, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. 
and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the passion of the saving passion of your Son and his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Blessed Standard Singer, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. And with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Peter Machado, our Bishop, and the order of bishop and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honors is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Ready to do 
Prayer for the end of the pandemic. Almighty and merciful Father, who show your love to all your creation, we come before you asking for a quick control of the coronavirus currently ravaging our world. Hear graciously the prayers we make for those affected by the virus in various parts of the world. Grant healing to the sick, eternal life to the dead, and consolation to the bereaved families. Protect doctors, nurses, and others serving the sick. We pray that as medicines and vaccines to combat the sickness are been found and administered, they may be safely, effectively, and equitably distributed to the most vulnerable populations all over the world. We pray for all governments and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and Redeemer. Amen. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be coerced in the glory of Christ to those suffering we are united, wherever we proclaim us death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends, thank you very much for joining us in celebrating this Holy Eucharist this morning. And also wish you all a very happy feast of our blessed Gaspar Stangasinger. As Father Matthew so beautifully put it, he is a great example for all formators and those who are involved in youth ministry. So we continue to pray for all those who are involved in forming young lives. Today on the Feast of Sin, a blessed Gaspar Stangasinger, we are happy to launch our RMC Hindi YouTube channel. And um, uh, we thank all the Redemptorist Fathers who are working in this language for coming forward to um, participate in our mission. And right now we only have um, a, a Sunday Mass and daily reflections. And in the days to come, we're going to have worship songs and uh, devotionals to help people come close to the Lord and also to live our mission here as part of the Church. This weekend, another short video for the youth, uh, Say It Like It Is, series has premiered. This time it is about prayer, and the video is titled, Why Is It So Difficult to Hear God Speak? A very informative video made by the youth for the youth. So, um, if you're young people, share it among your friends, and if you, and those of you who are, um, who have young uh, children or uh, grandchildren, send this to them. I'm sure it's going to help them. A new podcast series um, as, uh, is live already. This time, this week, it's the Advent Mission Sermons that we had last year, and they have been uh, edited for us uh, for our podcasts. So uh, the purpose we do this, as you know, is the Word of God can continue to help us in whatever we do when you're driving or when you're working out or whatever daily chores that you're involved in. Podcasts are a wonderful way to uh, participate and to consume uh, the Lord's Word. 
uh, do continue to join us for the Holy Mass every day at 7 and for the Holy Rosary with the family at 7 p.m. And our Who's Who in the Bible series continues on Mondays and on Thursdays. And uh, as informed earlier, um, uh, our Novena prayers have been revised. Uh, and uh, so every week at 6 p.m. at sat on Saturdays, we have the Novena. And uh, do join us for... Uh, in, in participating in this Novena prayer and if you intend to get a copy of this revised version of the Novena prayers to our Mother of Perpetual Help you're most welcome to contact us through our WhatsApp or through our email. Dear friends, all that we do here as we strive to preach the gospel ever anew we are able to do it because we have your support primarily your prayer. We thank you for that. And we thank you for all your support through prayer and also for those of you who take the trouble to send us feedback and also those who take the trouble uh, in spite of all your own commitments that you continue to support our ministry financially. We are grateful and thankful. And by doing so, you are participating in our mission in preaching the gospel ever anew. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. The Lord be with you. And with your May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. You are my strength when I am the treasure that I see, you are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel, Lord, to give up.